Well, howdy, folks. It's Roberto here in uh, America, and I'm trying out my new camera. It's the E500. Uh, I got it on at a thrift store uh, in about July. <laughs> Jerry! <clears throat> I can't do it. <laughs> I can't keep it up. <clears throat> G'day, how you going? So I'm taking the old classic um, Olympus E500 with the CCD sensor out again and I thought this time I want to try things in the style, kind of in the style of like that William, what's his name, Egg Eggleston. Now I think you know, it's a little bit overrated the stuff that he did <laughs> but it's, it's kind of like in tune with what I was doing with the industrial estate. You know, the mundane, the boring, that's what he's been known for. I mean, if you want to ask me, I think all he did was just some rich guy went out with a camera, just took photos and somehow ended up <laughs> in galleries. Uh, I think what it was, was uh, he was doing colour when no one else was and he had the cash to really process it with some really expensive uh, processing tool and I don't know I mean to me half his shots just look like crap just like shit around the house <laughs> anyway I'm like, if you can't um, beat him join him a lot of the shots that people go oh wow that's really cool is because the subject matter is old you know it's like in that set time period for instance um, like the 60s and the 70s so and it goes well with this but i'm going to look for color you know color is the key and i want to do something like in the 60s you know what i mean i want the subject to be old and kind of like reminiscent of you know those photos of eggleston and a bottle of milk remember these <laughs> i got a pint of milk i think they they used to sell pints 600 mil they used to deliver them and I just filled it up with normal milk. You know, they don't make things like they used to, I reckon. I mean, this is a classic. Who would not like to have milk out of that? What they used to do, they used to deliver it to the front door. And actually my brother, <laughs> my brother was the milkman once. He used to help the milkman when he was um, like 15. I thought I might do that and place it in. I've got my neighbor. Ah, that takes me back to when I was a kid. <laughs> I haven't done that in years. Drinking from a pint milk bottle, a uh, skim milk. All right, let's go for a walk around the neighborhood and see what the hell is boring. Okay, so I thought I'd put the milk bottle here. Uh, maybe do letter boxes like letter boxes always stay the same <laughs> everything else gets updated but the letter box always seems to stay the same and I tried here I'll, I can put some texture there with the backdrop maybe in front of the house try that what do you think jerry hmm? what do you think stupid um, my neighbor he's got a little milk bottle thing where you the milkman would put the milk bottle you know give you that kind of um 90 jerry in the 60s there's a good photo there check that out Screenshot, get Jerry in there. Jerry, come over here for the photo. Ready? Triangle. There you go. ISO shutter aperture. Jerry's golden triangle. So where was I? Yeah, like that 1960s look. Because they're the kind of shots that the mundane look good at, you know, that period piece. I mean, really, I should be 
filming uh, the period piece of today because that's the whole point of it but I don't know that kind of 60s look looks good speaking of which check out this uh, combi van that's a beauty I'll do that Alright, so I'm filming in HDR on the uh, DJI Action 3. Okay, so I put a saturation of 1 and Vivid 1 on this because I want to get as much colour as I can because that's the whole point of this. You know, the whole point of Eggleston or whoever was his name was to get the colour. So, and the CCD sensor, uh, the Kodak CCD sensor is uh, all about colour, you know, and that retro kind of, you know, early. 90s look I guess photo film I don't know <laughs> Olympus E500 now there is one thing that I have here do you remember these they're everywhere they're the markers that the surveyors use hey eh, Jerry hmm? yes Jerry the markers that the surveyors use and I thought that might be a good photo. They're everywhere. I think some people collect them. Not collect them, they photograph them and upload them to some database. I mean... <laughs> some people have got too much time on their hands, a bit like me. Um, I'll take a photo of that. That might be interesting, kind of, you know. I'm trying to look for things that were still hanging around from the 70s and the 60s you know things that survived like everything else changed except these little Gary now there's this uh, old light here I remember it as a kid it's even in one of the old videos that we got I think of us walking up here and back up there <laughs> I think might have been my sister but this old lamp here is a classic it's like from the 70s I think or the 60s when this place was built it's the only thing that's survived everything else has changed <laughs> I don't know why it's still there it hasn't been turned on in years it was for this hall over here so Derry hey I've only got 10 shots left I think I really do need to buy an extra bigger CF compact flash card because yeah, 19 shots uh, isn't going to get me far I'm hitting the bloody white balance there's a few shots there where I just hit the white balance and uh, I changed it and it just completely ruined the shot and I didn't even know the white balance was on but other than that it's, it's a bit clunky you know you got to really try you got to use that reciprocal rule too like remember it's a DSLR you know, if you've got uh, 40 millimeters, you've got to at least have a high shutter speed of at least 180, I reckon. Um, because you got your hands shake. Uh, the battery life's good. <laughs> uh, one charge will last you about a thousand shots. Because it doesn't use much, you know, it's not like a mirrorless camera where, you know, every five seconds, uh, some bit of, you know, screen or whatever is suck sucking up the energy. Is a good shot. You got the old post office, old English Queen Elizabeth II, and we've so gone. Let's see what that guy can do here. Hopefully, like the red pops out of that sign. There yeah, was the Saigon sign. Now another thing here, yeah, Jerry. Gas stations. <laughs> I don't know why, but every single kind of like cool film camera uh, f uh, street photography whatever photo from the 60s always has a gas station in there so here's a good one here shell go well go shell uh, now I like this one here there's lots of signs of, of shell there let's see if I can do something here
Okay, so I'm finding that that 17.5 to 40 millimeter, 45, whatever it is, it's not the very sharpest of lenses. Um, yeah, I can see why people are telling me get the uh, earlier ones, not not that one. But this um, 40 to 150, it's unreal. It's so sharp, and it always gets focus. That's one other thing with this is that. Uh, you really need a lot of light to get the focus working properly. Uh, struggling a lot. I flipped it over to manual autofocus slash manual with the center point. So you try and center in for autofocus. If that doesn't work, then move the manual focus. That kind of works sometimes. My eyes, I can't tell because it's a mirror. I, I rely a lot on autofocus. <laughs> Maybe I should get glasses. <laughs> Jerry. Now don't get me wrong, Jerry. <clears throat> I'm not bagging William Eggleston. Yes, I know, Jerry. <clears throat> I think <clears throat> I'm just as boring as he is. <laughs> I mean, I can see the appreciation and I can see what he was trying to do, um, which is take photos of every day. And I think they called it like a democratic thing, you know. I know art has a bit of snobbery to it. I mean, I, I, you know. Like I look at the Jackson Pollock, you know, it's like anyone you get that defensive because you look at like people like Jackson Pollock and Eggleston and they go, What the hell, man? I could do that, <laughs> I could do that, and I am doing that. Hey, Jerry, mm -hmm. using the CCD sensor gives you that little bit of edge, you know, anything that's you know, you can give a bit of an edge to it. Uh, rather than just use you know, your phone or something. I mean, you could do that as well. There's no rules, really. There aren't any rules, eh, Jerry? I can't bag anyone, even William Eggleston, because uh, every photo is a photo, and every and all photos have their merit, you know. So, I mean, obviously, you strive for perfection, but like what I said, there's beauty in the mundane, there's beauty in the ugly, uh, I don't know. I haven't really researched too much on why the hell he became famous. I guess it was just all about that colour thing, and he was at the right, in the right time, at the right place, whatever. Jerry, yes. I mean, you know, one day maybe uh, my photos of uh, milk bottles will end up in a gallery. <coughs> Probably not. <laughs> I'm not bagging him, I'm just saying, you know, there are um, better composition, better photos out there. This is just a different style, you know, just like what I'm trying to do. Like, I look at those industrial disease uh, photos, the little project that I'm trying to do, and, um, and I even look back at that and think, what the hell, that's crap. But then there's a certain charm to it, you know, the mundane boring the uh, color color is like a subject too um, that's what all the experts say too color is can be the subject alone you know obviously you want to marry a little bit of the composition and you know but you can use uh, and you can use color to weigh you know you can use a certain colors you know how you balance the photo with um, different weights you know you can feel it you can feel a weight of the balance of the photo you can use color to do that as well to offset the balance <laughs> Jerry does it sound like I know what I'm talking about Jerry we're heading on down the road to get ourselves a coffee Red seems to be the colour that everyone kind of like for me anyway is drawn to in a photo. It's the most vivid. You can get
get like philosophical like they did with Eggleston and like the blood and all this shit but it's just one the color that really stands out and it's really highly saturated uh, and it's something that you don't really see a lot I guess so when you do see it and yellow yeah I like yellow <laughs> especially canary yellow I really like that canary yellow uh, look anyway <clears throat> taking photos now now don't get me wrong I like green too <laughs> it's just that there's so much of it around when you're outside green <clears throat> I guess we depending where you live but yeah it's those colors that stand out the most but green's good too you know nature hey Jerry hmm? you cheeky girl <laughs>